fireside chat with a longtime supporter of AABDC and co-chair of the seventh annual AABR, Ann Chow from AT&T Business CEO. What do you believe were the keys to your success? Because I was reading at one point that you said it wasn't easy, that when mm -hmm. you tried to get into the sales department, you were rejected five times. Um, talk to us about keys to success. And education is the great equalizer. And so for them, and therefore for me, um, the importance of education and living a life that is filled with continuous learning is absolutely foundational. And it is not necessarily about the degrees that you have or the school that you go to, um, but it is about having a mindset that you can always learn from every situation and every person. This immigrant paranoia, though, that I talk about has really infused in me, and I've sort of harnessed this throughout my whole career, is that I'm always hoping for and pushing for the best outcomes but I'm always prepared for the worst. When I hear something or when I, um, you know, when, when someone may have some kind of slur or some, you know, uh, let's say a bias-filled experience, I actually don't take it personally, right? And to the point of education, I take every one of these moments as an ed educational experience, and I don't assume malicious intent. As a corporate CEO, how would you deal with the allyship and the corporate level versus what you would do on the community level from a business point of view, not as an elected official. Something that I work with, with um, our company's leadership team to do so, and we developed our own very specific women of color program and initiative and support structure, um, and have uh, run hundreds of women and their supervisors through it, addressing topics like emotional tax, how do you become a better mentor and supporter for women of color, and there were very many commonalities across those communities. So it absolutely can be and needs to be done without sacrificing the uniqueness of each of the individual communities. And so, again, if I use AT&T as an example, you know, our business is about connections, it's about connectivity, it's about enabling our communities with you know, that uh, you know, broadband connections, right? And so that, is, that happens to be our focus, right? So we are setting up all around the country community learning centers Right? where um, those who ha don't have access to broadband can go and learn right? and have access. Right? And we also, you know, there's an aspect of also supporting the youth right? in these communities who require broadband services to learn. Um, and, okay, so what I, what I would say to all of you is this, is that um, you, you can be and do and create anything that you want as leaders. Okay? Leadership is a choice. Um, you do not need to wait for anybody to give you permission to lean in, to create allyship, to collaborate, to build relationships, and you got to get uncomfortable. Because if you are too comfortable, whether it's in the personal dimensions of your life or the professional dimensions of your life, it means that you're not growing and you're not learning. So I would challenge you to get uncomfortable personally, learn about communities, learn about issues that maybe are unfamiliar to you, and keep growing, right? Keep growing and keep going. Okay. You're ready for 60 minutes now. <laughs>